Hello and welcome to Worldwide Markets Daily Forex Wrap Up. It is June 5th, 2013. Uh, we're going to start on the Euro dollar four hour chart. Uh, today we're going to pretty much focus on a lot of technicals. We're, we're seeming to be at some critical levels and some patterns are starting to form. Uh, right now here we're seeing uh, the 31.15 level on the Euro dollar holding. Uh, right now we're at 30, uh, 85, 86. And you know we've made an attempt at this 31.15 level twice in the last week, and you know we have not been able to get above it. So what we're looking for right now is to see whether or not the dollar weakness is going to continue. Uh, we should definitely know one way or the other by the end of the week, uh, simply because we have non-farm payroll, and that should shake up the market enough that's going to push this in one direction or another. We're either going to get a pop over this 3115 level in which case we're, we're looking for long positions uh, with targets at you know 3225 area or you know if we're gonna pull back then we'll be looking to uh, you know probably get back under 1.30 uh, same holds true for the pound dollar uh, the 154 level is a pretty significant level over the last 12 months or so uh, we had we had this point hit four times uh, if you see here starting last June uh, one two three four either uh, support or resistance on the pound dollar we're currently sitting right there uh, so we definitely want to see whether or not this pops over or you know we get a, a dollar rally and uh, you know that pushes us back down uh, we had, do have a bit of a modified uh, double bottom here, you know, kind of a reverse of this double top that we saw at the end of last year. And then, you know, one thing that you want to look at for future trading is this 5610 level. Uh, it's a couple hundred pips away, but, you know, if we get a break above that 5610 level, uh, you know, we could see much more, uh, you know, dollar weakness, pound strength, you know, with this pair going forward. The gold, uh, you know, is trying to rally, and you know we're not. It's not having success. If you look on the chart, we have three points of lower highs, and you know we have a bit of a you know descending triangle here that's forming, and we're back below 1400. You know, each attempt, you know, to try to make new highs, uh, you know, has failed and pulled back. So, you know, one of the things that we want to keep in mind is whether or not this thing will eventually, you know, collapse and we'll get another run to the downside. You know, just keep keep your eyes open on this trend line. If it stays below, you know, we're, we're maintaining our bearish bias. You know, that's what we've been talking about over the last month or so is, is that uh, this isn't done, you know, pushing down. So, you know, that's definitely one thing I want to see is whether or not this trend line maintains or whether or not we get a break above it. Uh, dollar yen, we have, uh, you know, we're hanging out right around 99.40, uh, 99.35, uh, you know, it's previous areas of support and resistance. You know, here, you know, when we made the previous high before we pushed to 103, um, I think we're kind of just seeing profit taking and, and some stall uh, just based on the fact that the, the US dollar has been so weak of late um, but I do not think that uh, we're gonna stay below 100 uh, BOJ really has no intentions of, of getting involved here and and uh, and boosting the end back up a lot of the you know common Talking heads, so to speak, in the industry are, are calling for 105 or looking at 105. Not that I pay a whole lot of attention to them, but I'm not saying that they're 100% uh, incorrect on this either. I definitely think that we will see this get back over 100, and you know it's going to continue dollar uh, to the upside. We'll take a quick peek at. Uh, Dollar CAD and oil has been really, really choppy. Um, you know, dollar weakness uh, mixed with the uh, you know decline, small declines that we've seen on oil it has led this to kind of chop around. Uh, we have this range that we've been in, you know, for the last you know couple weeks. 
you know, the 102, you know, 50 area to the 104, 20 level, uh, is, you know, what we've seen here on the dollar CAD. And, you know, until one thing, you know, kind of gets in favor of the other, you know, either we see, um, you know, one pair kind of push past the other to kind of get us out of this, you know, we're going to expect this channel to continue and to chop around. Um, you know, same thing, you see the same reflection uh, in the oil market over the last month, you know, it's just extreme chops and, and big moves, you know, four or five, six dollars at a time. And, you know, until this starts to trend and level off, um, you know, I'd just be really wary trading uh, trading the dollar CAD unless you're going to uh, try to range trade it. That is all that we have for you today. Thank you very much for tuning in. Enjoy your day and good luck with your trading.